Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and I wanted to give you the February slash March 2019 update on my aquarium and the reef and how everything's doing. There's been not really much new stuff added. Worldwide Corals seems to have closed down their platinum coral group or a coral club. So no more interesting new coral every month, but we did get quite a few that's been doing pretty well. So I've been very happy with it. And we still have some of the original unique corals, corals as well in here. But things have been growing really well, actually. We have uh, like this yellowish green one in the front here. Just six months ago was just a little frag. And now it's this big colony about the size of my fist. Especially this green one has been growing super well. Just some kind of a random Acropora, but really has been doing well for us in the tank. Something keeps maybe nibbling on the ends. I'm not sure what it is. I've yet to see what it is that is biting the ends of this coral, but some of the tips look like they're bitten off. It's very strange. The tort is doing well. I think organ torts generally grow pretty slowly, so I can attest it's growing slowly, but doing well, getting some branches now. It's uh, expanding mostly encrusting out over the rock more so than really growing out. We do have some Montiporas that are doing nicely. I'm trying to get them to actually make the the swirling uh, the caps that the Capricornus does, but these ones have yet to do that. And of course the blue spotted angelfish and the clownfish always like to be in the frame. I do have a Gorgonian here. It's been doing pretty well. It's all closed up right now because I changed water a couple hours ago, but I feed it a few times a week when I feed the Acropora and I just feed um, reef roids to it and it seems to be doing well. I'm getting some new growth and new, new um, tissue on it. So I think it's happy. The Achilles Tang is still doing well, still ruling the aquarium. It's definitely the boss in here. We got some zoanthids at, oh, what was it, Arifa Palooza, and they're still doing pretty well. Uh, they're encrusting over this rock that we have them on. And we've got some random frags still in the bottom, including the only Anacropora in the tank, that green one is an Anacropora. So that's the only one that we've got in here. And you notice that it doesn't have axial polyps. There's no polyp at the end of the branch on that one. So it's a sign that it's not a Acropora. And of course it doesn't look like a Montipora either. So then that gives you the key to it. Our strawberry Acropora, or strawberry shortcake or whatever you want to call it, the green and pink ones, they have several names, um, is doing well. This one we originally got, it's one of the oldest ones in here. It started as just a little frag from Unique Corals, and it's finally started to grow some additional branches, so we'll keep an eye on that one. My favorite one in here is this one from Unique Corals, or not from Unique Corals, from the Worldwide Corals Coral Club. They call it a blueberry gonzo acropora. I'm not sure what it is actually, but it's a really interesting colony. I had it down low and it wasn't doing much. And then I moved it up to the top of this rock where I think it's probably getting somewhere around 700 par and then good flow all around. And it's doing really well here. It's, it has several new branches on it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like as a bigger colony. In the back, you can see another one that is a sort of a original coral to our tank. Um, this branching Acropora of some sort, if it will focus, it is the one of the oldest ones in here, and it's been doing a good job at growing and, and splitting off. The individual branches of this one are probably bigger than most of your thumbs at this point. It's really a very massive colony. So that one we put in the background, you can see 
so it's in the background and I think it will make a nice sort of background view to the tank there. In other news, um, coral and algae growing on the back is normal. Our other frags are all doing well. The only tabling acropora that I have, you see sometimes in my videos, this one's doing well. It was also a, a unique corals frag from way back. And then we have the starkey damselfish and the coal tang. And it looks like some colonies got knocked over, so I have to fix that. The only chalice that I have that's really doing well is this one here in the middle. This is from Cali Kid Corals. I think they, they are in um, Whittier, California. If you're ever near there, you should check them out or their website as well. And then we have some random frags on the frag rack, some Blastomusa and random things. We are trying to grow this colony, this Montipora colony, onto this rock. It's a really pretty colony. It has kind of a metallic pink sheen and then blue polyps, but it's not like a Superman Montipora. So very interested to see what it looks like as it grows out and grows across this rock. And I see it's finally encrusting on it, so it'll be, I think it'll look really cool. We have another colony, this little Favites, I think, from um, Cali Kid Coral as well. Uh, I forget what he called it. Um, some kind of a superhero name. Our torch coral, our gold torch has been doing well. Um, Euphilia. If you feed it, maybe, maybe it gets some food once a week, but nothing too much. And it's been doing well. It's been filling in its kind of little cave. I worry that the fish that go through there one day will brush a little bit too closely to it and become a meal, but uh, there has been no problems so far. On the other side of the tank, we have the Millipora. This was a frag. It grew and then it died, but I was able to frag off a little tiny section of maybe the size of your fingernail, and it's grown into this nice colony. Um, since then. And of course you have this unidentifiable green acropora that's doing well and some other random things. The fish are all doing well. And I'll zoom out for sort of a family photo there, most of the fish at least. Um, the clownfish that I have are old enough that they have laid, I think, one set of eggs on the back of my algae scraper. Um, so that's always interesting to see, but clownfish are, are really easy to get to breed as long as you feed them nicely. Other than that, the algae that I had trouble with before is pretty much all gone. There are a few areas where cyanobacteria is growing in the tank, you may have noticed. I am going to be adding um, some additional flow. My plan is to get another pump and see what that does. So right now I have two MP40s on each end. What I'm going to do to try it out is probably buy another one and then put one on the back, sort of in the middle by the overflow. And then I'll have two on each side and one on the back. So on this side, I did move one of the old ones. You can see where it used to be. And that one's on the back, and then I'll replace the one that's in the front with the new MP40 when I finally get it. Otherwise, yeah, everything is going well. I'm still dosing Conkwasser for calcium, and that seems to be doing enough to keep my levels stable. I think I will probably need a calcium reactor of some sort soon because as all these corals start to grow more and more tips, there will be more and more demand for calcium and alkalinity in the tank. And I think that will be unsustainable using just Kalkwasser. I do have 
one other interesting thing. It's much prettier in the actinic light, but back here, sort of nestled in the back amongst all of the cyanobacteria, we have these clove polyps, which are not photographing too well, but they do have really pretty sort of neon green centers and sort of electric orange marks in them as well. So under actinic light, those are really pretty and they've been doing well, although we all know how clove polyps like to take over. So that's why they're kind of back here where they could take over the snail shell graveyard and not the actual rock work. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. I enjoy showing you all the stuff that's going on in the tank. It's not full of coral yet, but it's getting there. With a few more months or a year more of growth, we'll have big, huge colonies. And if nothing goes horribly wrong, I think the tank will be filled in. So yeah, looking forward to it. Hope it was interesting. See you next week. Bye.